Well, hello, welcome everybody. Oh my gosh, I always love this. Back to Fridays, Facebook Friday, Facebook Live, Frilici Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Hopefully there are at least a few of you that are able to catch the live. I know lots and lots of people are out Black Friday shopping. Um, let's see, we're actually, we don't really do Black Friday shopping, but we do get together all my aunts, all my girl, my female aunts and cousins, we all get together and go shopping on Friday afternoon. So right after Facebook Live, I'm out of here um, to go pick up my sister and her kids, and then Lily will be with me, and we're on our way to uh, Bay City and Saginaw area, which is where I have another aunt and cousin that live in that area, and it's some fun shopping over there. So hello, I'm trying to see who's on. I see I've got one eyeball right now so thank you there Marianne yeah oh my gosh good I think you said you were gonna be out of town so I'm glad you're able to join us yay it just feels so good to be back I feel like it's been forever too and it's I mean it was just last Wednesday but it, I don't know I guess that extra time in there it's been November's been crazy but um, hopefully everybody had a good Thanksgiving yesterday oh my gosh did everybody eat too much right isn't that like the the norm on Thanksgiving I know we um Oh, in Las Vegas. Very cool, Marianne. Oh my gosh, that sounds like lots of fun. I bet it's really nice there. How hot is it? I'm curious. I bet I bet it's pretty warm. Oh my goodness, and the mountains. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Hopefully you're having a great time, Marianne. Um, so yeah, Thanksgiving yesterday was pretty low key for my family. We don't, you know, we keep it pretty simple, which is good. Um, so yeah, it was just nice. We got to have some relaxing time. Well, hi, Kathy. How are you? Happy Thanksgiving. I'm glad you can join us. I hope you had a great day yesterday. Um, yeah, what else? Oh, big, so football, big football weekend. I am a huge U of M, University of Michigan fan, and we play the our arch rival. Okay, wait, not too, oh, 51 degrees. Oh, it's early though, right? Hopefully it warms up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Las Vegas, it's gotta be warmer than that, right? So yeah, hi, Kathy, I'm so glad you're here. Um, but yeah, anyway, so big, big, big football game, noon Eastern time tomorrow. U of M plays Ohio State. This is like our biggest rival. It's funny, because within the state of Michigan, it's Michigan, Michigan State, but really, I think our huge, huge, like, nemesis, our tribal is Ohio State, uh, just south of us here in Ohio, so in Columbus. So, yeah, we, a big, big, big game. We have not beaten them in quite a few years. It was funny because someone was talking about the run, like, Michigan, um, like, beat um, Ohio State, I don't know, lots and lots of times back in the 90s, so <laughs> it's been a little while. It's like, it's our turn. We're ready to do it. So, yeah, big game tomorrow. I'm excited. Lots of, like, rivalry games tomorrow, so if you're a football fans, tomorrow's going to be a great day, right? Um, and let's see what else. Oh, so yeah, seriously, what's like the big news in our Stampin' Up! world? The online extravaganza started this morning. So this is, we have not done this before, and I have to get my notes because there's a lot to know about this. Hi, Morgan. How are you? I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. I'm glad you can join us. Um, so yeah, okay, online extravaganza. This is, like I said, it's different. So we're doing, and I think it's kind of good, so they're not um, hanging out there for too long. Hi, Philomena, I'm glad you can join us, thank you. Um, okay, so for today and tomorrow, so November 23rd and 24th, it's a two-day sale. Basically, what they said is, well, it goes six days total, but there are three two-day sales. Okay, hi, Nikki, good morning, happy Thanksgiving or happy belated Thanksgiving. I hope you had a great day and a good morning so far. Um, okay, I keep like losing my train of thought. Online extravaganza sale. So for the next two days, the, everything that I mention in, and this is in the annual catalog, so not the holiday catalog, in the annual catalog is 10% off. And then, hi, Joyce. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I was really not even sure I was gonna have anybody watching today because I'm like, gosh, people are probably really busy the day after Thanksgiving. You know, a lot of people have the day off, although maybe that's good, then you can watch when you couldn't normally watch if you were at work. So anyway, I'm just thrilled to have everybody here. So thank you, thank you everybody for joining me. Um, okay, so yes, face or um, online extravaganza. So for the next two days, I'm gonna give you the list. This is everything that is on sale. It's all 10% off. I feel like they even said maybe there are gonna be some other things that'll be more um, discounted than that, and they might throw those in there. So you kinda of have to be like watching. Oh, and you're in, in cold Alabama. Well, Joyce, 
Sorry to say it's probably not as cold in Alabama as it is here in Michigan. Although, like yesterday, I don't know, was it mid to high 20s? Today's supposed to be in the 40s, so it's like a heat wave. <laughs> I might be able to wear my vest instead of my jacket when we're out shopping this afternoon. We'll see. Um, okay, so this is the deal. Everything that is on sale, they basically have it broken down by category. But I did already hop on, so if you go to stampinup.com, there's a big banner across the, you know, the home page when you first go to stampinup.com, and it says 10% off, um, oh gosh, what is it? Now I've got to flip my page here. 10% off today, oh my gosh, it's teeny tiny print too, paper and embellishments are all 10% off. So, and there's a whole list of things. And on the website, literally, there's a picture for every single single thing that's on sale. So this will kind of give you like the condensed version list, uh, you know, by type of product. But then go to stampinup.com and I think, you know, just look at the pictures of everything and see if there's anything that you have been thinking about getting because why not get it at 10% off, right? Because that'll add up. I mean, the more that you get, obviously, the more that you're going to save. So this is everything that's on sale for today and tomorrow. It ends on November 24th. So that, um, well, Friday and Saturday, right? The 23rd and 24th. I meant to bring my calendar over here because you know how when you're off for like a day, you like totally forget <laughs> what day of the week it is and what the date is. But today is the 23rd, tomorrow is the 24th. So this is everything that's on sale. Paper and embellishments is kind of the big title that they're calling it. But bags, so kind of gift giving bags, brads and buttons, cards and envelope, envelopes, card stock, designer series paper, embossing material, glitter, ribbon, twine, specialty paper, tags, and washi tape. So that's everything that they're including in paper and embellishments. But like I said, just go to stampinup.com, click on the top banner that says 10% off paper and embellishments, and it gives you pictures of every single thing that's on sale. If you click on the picture, you know, it'll be a bigger picture and you can get more description and information about any of the products. And I will give you the host code in a little while because if you shop online and use that host code, then you're always gonna get the projects that I demonstrate later and your name goes in the drawing and I'll show you what you could win in just a little bit. But I want to tell you, so there are two more two-day sales after today and tomorrow. So that's Friday and Saturday. Ooh, this is really <laughs> mentally tough. So the next two days, Sunday and Monday, November 25th and 26th, this is the next grouping of product that is on sale. So once tomorrow and midnight Salt Lake City time, so mountain time ends, the stuff that I just mentioned is not on sale anymore. Then we move to a new category, which is stamps and kits. And this is everything that's included in that sale on Sunday and Monday, okay? So stamp sets, all types of stamp sets, project kits, card kits, kit refills. So if you have one of the card kits and you've already made everything, some of them come with refill kits so you can make more using your stamp set and your ink and your clear black that came in your original kit. Um, memories and more um, products and then punch box kits are also included so well hi Kate how are you happy Thanksgiving I'm glad you can join us um, okay so that's Friday Saturday Sunday Monday so then Tuesday Wednesday is the last sale 10% off of all of these products um, they're calling it tools and ink so Tuesday and Wednesday the 27th and 28th, and this is all on the website too, and I've posted it at gatheringinspiration.com, and I have posted it on our Facebook group, so there are lots of links to places that you can get more information. Go to stampinup.com to shop. Um, but on the 27th and 28th, tools and ink, 10% off, are adhesives, applicators, cleaners, cutting tools, embossing folders, framelits and thinlets, very nice, right? ink pads, ink refills, markers, punches, uh, scoring tools, <clears throat> and the stamping blocks and the cases. So tons, like basically they said, pretty much everything in the annual catalog is gonna be on sale at that 10% off between one of these three two-day sales. But you just have to kind of manage. So you might have to put three different orders in to get the deals on everything. So just kind of know that, but you're gonna get the host code so you can, oh my gosh, I'll have to figure that out. If you shop three times, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you lots of good stuff, right? I'll give you projects from the last couple of Facebook Lives too. Um, so yeah, if you shop once between now and next Wednesday, you're gonna get the projects to dem demonstrate today. If you shop twice, 
um, you know, with these two day sales, I'm going to send you the projects from last Wednesday's Facebook Live. And if you shop three times, I'll send you the previous, previous, whatever that was. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I have notes on all that stuff. So you get lots of good stuff. Plus, if you put that $50 order in, you always get the free embellishment. Your name's going to go in the drawing for this week's prize. So lots of incentive. Plus, everything's on sale. So why wouldn't you want to shop, right? Um, so yeah, and each um, two-day sale that comes up, Stampin' Up! will update, you know, the banner when you go to stampinup.com, the thing that you can click on to get all the details for everything that's on sale. So then you can see all the pictures. I, that's how I prefer to shop. Um, rather than trying to go through the catalog, uh, you know, just go to stampinup.com and you can look and see everything that is on sale and then decide what you need, what you can't live without, what you've been thinking about getting. Like I said, because you might as well get it at a discount, right? So, awesome, okay? So I think that's good. Let me know if anybody has any questions on that. Oh, I forgot to show you guys too. I've got, you're like, why is she wearing that little funny necklace? But this is um, a necklace that we got it's backwards but it says center stage on it so from stampin up they just had these cute little bobbly necklaces on the tables at the epcot center we had kind of this big like hall kind of a room where we actually had karaoke and there are some really talented stampers that are also really tam talented uh vocalists as well so that was really fun um yeah it was like a whole dessert party oh my goodness what did they do they had some kind of they were doing donuts, but what else? I can't even remember now, they were so good. Somebody else that went might be able to tell me because I'm totally blanking out. My head was pounding by the time that night came around. I don't know if it was the heat, um, but the evening was a little bit of a blur, I have to say, at Epcot that night. But I did remember to grab one of my little bobbly necklaces. Um, so yeah, as a little memento for the evening. So, okay, um, real quick, I just wanna put the reminder out. I know you guys have seen me posting because I've been trying to make sure everybody knows about the takeout treats um, class to go. So it includes, and ooh, the glare is bad. The beautiful sun is shining today and I am not complaining. Takeout treats, stamp set, and the takeout thinlets. And what you maybe can't even see is the one thinlet in here because I think it's on the back side that makes the cute little boxes. Um, but anyway, I will post the link. Today is the very last day to sign up for that class to go. So if you're interested, you would make, I won't go through all the details, but you're gonna make two of this card and then you're gonna make two of that super sweet card and then the little treat boxes. You're gonna make two and look at on the back too. It's got the little stripey on the back there. You're gonna make two of that little treat box and then you're gonna make two of the little yum can you guys see the little yum treat box with the um, candy cane print on it? You also get a pack of, I have a few of these stashed away, so depending on how many more people RSVP, the Santa's Workshop Enamel Shapes. If I don't have enough packs for everybody, then we're gonna do the red rhinestones, which are gonna look great on this too. Um, but I will make sure, because I've got one of mine still left, so I'll make sure you get the pieces that you need to make these cards exactly, but then the um, extra embellishment that you get will be the red rhinestones rather than these guys, because these are already sold out, unfortunately. We have a few things that are sold out. And then just don't forget, if you do the option number one where you get the stamp set and the thinlets and all four projects, two of each of them, plus the um, Santa's Workshop enamel shapes, I'm throwing in a bolt of the um, silver mini sequin trim with that's option number one. Um, I guess I'll tell you, that's $77. Okay, I might as well since I have my notes right here. Option number two is all of that stuff except the takeout treat framelits. If you just want the stamp set or maybe you already have the framelits, um, option number two is $45. Then option number three is if you do not want, well, you probably already have because you need to have the stamp set. Um, you don't need the framelits because we'll do all your die cutting for you. But if you, option number three does not include either the stamp set or the framelits, it's all the projects, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of those and the Santa's Workshop enamel shapes. That option number three is $26. Option number four is the PDF tutorial that just tells you step by step, basically the dimensions for everything, the colors, exactly the product that I used, all of it. If you wanna make it on your own, the PDF tutorial is always $15 and it's always available even after today's RSVP deadline has gone, right? And then option number five is for anybody in my Inkspired Stampers group and my downline. You can get the make and take materials for all eight of those projects, two of each of those four 
projects. Um, that cost is $12. It's basically cost for all the product that is included in those um, cards. You get the stamp set and thinlets on your own through your own demo ID so you can get your discount. And as a member of the Inkspired Stampers group, if you want the PDF tutorial, you get that for free. That $15 fee is waived. So if you're in my Inkspired Stampers group, let me know if you want me to email the PDF tutorial to you. So I think that's it. Yeah, today's the last day. I am gonna try hard. I said kits are gonna ship out by December 7th, but I'm really hoping to get them out sooner than that even because I want everybody to have their stuff since there is, some of it is kind of Christmassy and some of it is not quite so Christmassy. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions or you're interested in that class to go, okay? Uh, let me get that back out of the way. What else do we wanna talk about? Let's do our drawing for these the all is bright paper clips so those were the cute i gotta show them again because i love these things um they're just great on you can put them on cards or other little treat things that you might be making um okay so those were the little stars and then they have some christmas trees too so these cute little clippies and then there is the christmas tree right so you get i don't know a slew of each of them i don't think it tells me oh no it does 20 so you get 10 of each of the stars and the Christmas trees. So your name went in the drawing as usual if you comment or share this video, right? I also did my um, random drawing and I pulled up Saturday was the day. Um, yeah, can you even see that? Anyway, Saturday was the day that I picked. So if you commented or shared um, any of the posts that I did last Saturday, your name also is gonna go in the drawing right here. And then if you're not already on my email list, if you sign up for my email list, you get three entries in the drawing here too. So lots and lots of entries in here. I gotta shake them around really well, you guys can see. Um, okay, so let's see who is gonna win these all is bright paper clips. Okay, I think I have one. I'm always afraid I'm gonna have two in my hand and then what the heck would I do then? Mom, it's Darlene McPhee. I don't think you've won yet, Darlene. I don't know why I think that's always kind of fun. And you guys are not, oh my goodness. Definitely we're gonna be sliding the table because I don't think we can even see that. Well, congratulations, Darlene. I will get these sent out to you. You're gonna have some fun with these just in time for the holidays. Okay, so this week, what are we giving away? I have, let's see, I do have mine open, so I'm not gonna open this one. This is the, the box that includes the Take Your Pick tool. Wow, look at how, let's see, what if it's super bright? We're gonna already move the table. I think I did this last time, didn't I, where you guys got to like see me moving things a little bit? Let's see if that's a little bit better. Yeah, I feel like that's better, now you can kind of see. So this is the Take Your Pick tool, right? I have mine open, so once you pull it out of the box, I don't want it to fall out, but that's kind of what it looks like. So here is, <laughs> I've twisted this too much. Um, you don't need the putty to be that long on this end. That's kind of been an issue for me. I think I keep twisting and not even realizing it. But this is the little putty end right here that if you had a sequin on your table, you just put that down onto the sequin and pop it right up and then you can put it wherever you want to on your project. And you get a refill of these um, in the original kit and then you can buy even more but that's the little refill tip for the putty end and then this end is super cool because it's very versatile I think I showed you guys this before didn't I because I love this is my Barbie spatula <laughs> you know with a little easy bake oven you can scoop your little brownies right out and then this just has a little lock and unlock so you just twist it and it pops right out and then this end is a paper piercing tool so if you ever need to poke holes in anything and then there is also a scoring tool. This is kind of a wider tip scoring end. No, no, that was the more, that was the littler. And then this is the bigger end. And then these both just fit right in there if I can get it lined up properly. And then you just lock it in place. So very cool, huh? So someone is going to win this take your pick tool. Now I gotta put it all back together. Um, in next week's drawing. Hi Nancy, how are you? I like my Barbie spatula best, so I gotta get that one back up and ready to go. And it's got the little cover too that fits over everything. So very handy, very versatile, uh, definitely something that you're gonna need if you don't have it already. So your name, one entry will go in this drawing next week if you comment on this video right here. 
two, uh, three entries if you share the video with a comment, right? That's the standard. Now the new thing is if you comment or share on, basically you need to do it every single day, comment and share, because then I pick one day each week, and if anybody comments or shares on that day, your name goes in the drawing. One entry for commenting and three entries for sharing on that day. So like I said, Saturday was the day that I picked this week. And then also, if you um, sign up for my email list, if you're not already signed up, you get another three entries in here. So I always include the link too. You can always, if you're not sure, if you go to gatheringinspiration.com, there's a link right there to get you signed up for my email list if you're not already there because that's the best way to know about what is going on with everything, with classes, with events, with promotions, with all kinds of good stuff. So, um, okay, so that's what we're giving away today. Now, um, I want to. I, we actually didn't have any online drawings la or any online orders last week, so there's nobody that I get to draw for that for that um, happiness surrounds stamp set. I didn't even bring it over here. But what I was thinking was, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in the drawing for this week. But what I've decided is if I get at least five online orders, especially with this online extravaganza sale, I'm gonna put that stamp set back in the drawing and then you also get your name entered in the drawing to win this awesome, super cute Alpine Adventure stamp set. I think my favorite is the little snowshoe. I actually got snowshoes for Christmas, it feels like probably 10 years ago, and I've only used them a couple times. It's the kind of thing that I keep thinking, someday I'm going to get those back out and use them again. So maybe this will be the winner that that happens. But can you guys see all the other really cute, um, there are some little wreaths, um, just a bunch of like little embellishments. Then the Christmas greetings, let it snow, the cute little sled, and then can you see, I'm trying to read it and tell you guys, this one says jingle all the way. So there we go, get it out of the glare. But so your name is gonna go in the drawing next week if you put an online order in of at least $30 and use the host code that I'll give you, your name goes in the drawing to win in this stamp set. And if I get at least five online orders, this between now and next Wednesday, I'll put that other happiness surround stamp set in the drawing and I'll give away two things on next week's Facebook Live. So. That would be awesome. Because honestly, you guys are gonna love that happiness around stamp set. It kind of, I think it's because it feels more spring, summer, it's a little more floral. Um, people aren't drawn to it quite so much right now, but you're gonna want that in your stash for um, after the holidays, once you're done making all your Christmas projects and things. So, okay, um, I think we are good. So we are actually gonna move the camera now. Let's see if I get that right there. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna move the camera, turn your heads away for a sec, and I'm gonna show you a couple more things, and then we are gonna do some stamping. Yay, always the best part. Okay, thank you for the share, Marianne. I always appreciate that. Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec, because my hand and everything else are gonna be in the way. And let's see, does that look good? Okay, we got the ceiling, we're moving. Okay, super bright and glary. Okay, table's going for a ride right now. We'll get it over with. Hold on. I'm trying to see. All right, I think that looks better. Not quite so much of a glare, right? And now I got it, this thing is like, you can't really hear it, but it's kind of making noise. So I'm taking it off because now you guys can't see that, right? Um, but it is so cute. Okay, so here we go. This is the host code that you're going to want to use, the ETSMG6K4, when you go shop from the online extravaganza sale between now and next Wednesday. Um, you put that order in, you're going to get the projects I demonstrate, and your name goes in the drawing to win the Alpine Adventure stamp set, right? Okay, so, oh, and then if you bump your order up to $50, you also get a free embellishment. So you can get so much free stuff with that order. All right. So I want to tell you guys, oh, actually, I want to show you guys. I didn't do this last week because I was kind of trying to spread stuff out. But let me grab my stash of things here. Do you guys want to see all of the product we got from on stage? Hold on. I'm trying to stay um, organized here. Okay, bear with me just a sec. All right, I think I'm good now. Kind of. Okay, so this was really cool. This is um, a tool kit, I think they're calling it, so I've already got it kind of open. But I love this print, too. It's such a 
pretty floral. I think this is basically the theme for our 30th anniversary. So it's got a little pocket right here that you can put things in and then it zips all the way around, right? So you can put lots of good stuff. Oh, and then the back side's super cute too. Um, but on the inside, then it's just got an awesome, like your take your pick tool would fit in here perfectly. You've got a place for pens and other tools and then kind of some zipper pouchy things that you can put other good stuff in, right? We've actually got two of those. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. So, but just a great little um, toolkit, basically. So this was something that I think they gave everybody. I get confused because I can't remember. This was not a prize patrol, though, you know, where not everybody got. I think this was an all attendee giveaway. So everybody got that little toolkit. And then this super cute bag. Basically, this was something that we received um, when we checked in. So it's got the 30th anniversary with the floral motif. And I'll try to show you. I maybe should have showed this, but you can kind of see. So it's not super big. Um, that's the back. And then whoop, this is the front. Yeah, I should have showed this before. It might have been easier to see. Um, but yeah, so anyway, it's just a super cute little tote bag. And I love, just love that floral print on it. I think it's my favorite. And then this was the box. Actually, they did a nice job. I, it's so funny. All the, they do a great job even with the packaging, right? So the 30th anniversary box, our bag came in here. And then there were some other things in here too. I am afraid I'm going to hit something if I keep this over here. So I'm going to open it up and show you kind of item by item what we got in here. So first of all, we have this humming along stamp set that has the thank you sentiment, the hope you feel better really soon, wishing you an amazing birthday, and then uh, the hummingbird and the flower and the leaf. Um, we're going to have lots and lots of fun with this stamp set, I think, with our blends, right? It looks like a great stamp set to be using to color with your blends, right? So that was one of the things. Oh, and I'm going to show you because I know I mentioned the cling stamp sets, um, that those are going to be new with the um, occasions catalog. So I'm going to show you guys how to um, mount those, how to put the labels onto your cling stamps. I think I even have, yep, I've got one right up here. So after I show you guys the product that we got, I will show you how to actually put those together. So these were a couple of little notebooks that were in that box too, just for, um, just cute, like, oh my gosh, just super cute. Um, lots of different um, kind of ways that you can use these books. This one is kind of cool um, because I think of it, you know, if you're sketching or something with kind of that grid paper there. So, but again, they kind of match. And I have one more that I used, so I'm not going to show you that because it's got a bunch of scribbles in it <laughs> from all my notes I took at the onstage event. And, okay, so this one's really cool. This is a photopolymer stamp set called Amazing Life. And look at, oh my gosh, life's too short to say no to cake. That's pretty much my motto in life right there, right? This is cute, good luck. We don't have that sentiment very often. I believe in you and yay. And then how about happy birthday? You are amazing and so happy to have you in my life. Plus I love... What, I can't remember what they called that, but the two different types of fonts. Actually, it's almost got three here. Like that one and that one are the same. That's a little more blocky and then simple there too. I love that more than one font on um, a sentiment like that. I think that's very cool. Plus the cake is pretty cute too, right? So this is a, a good size. We get 17 stamps in this stamp set. So it's a little hard to see those, right? But yeah, so that's really, I love the big sentiments like that too because they take up a lot of room <laughs> on your card. So it makes it kind of quick and simple and easy. Um, oh, they gave us some pens. Look at, aren't these super cute? Stampin' up pens with the little polka dots. Actually on the inside of that um, bag that we got has little yellow polka dots too. So that actually worked really well theme-wise together. But in the kind of um, bronze clips on there. Really, really cute. I gotta break those out and take those to the studio. Well, I'm thinking about that. Okay, here's another stamp set called Incredible Like You, kind of that watercolor with the stripes there and then kind of a two-step stamping there. And then some fun sentiments, right? Hope your day is as, as, as amazing as you. I just adore you. So glad we are friends and incredibly proud of you. I love that. That's another one that we don't have much of and 
you know, it's fun. Um, when your kids make you proud, it's fun to make sure you let them know that, right? So another cute, this is another photopolymer stamp set, but I think we're gonna have lots of fun with that one also. I cannot wait to start showing you guys projects made with these things. Um, ooh, okay, so this is actually a really cool one. This is, um, this, I'm trying to remember if this was an all attendee giveaway or at center stage. I don't know, I blank out. I think it might've been um, at center stage because it's kind of um, like a, an incentive um, type of stamp set. You know, it's called Stamping Your Way to the Top. Um, so there's, you know, this is a good example. Welcome to the team, handmade by your biggest cheerleader. Was what a dazzling demonstrator. Oh, that's cute. And then stamping mail. And then some other, let's see, this one says, hmm, can you guys see this? So, oh, cute. This says maybe stamping your way to the top. And then our theme, the love it, live it, share it, the 30th anniversary theme, making dreams come true. It's the best job ever and way better than a text. Oh, I love these. Oh my gosh, I hadn't even really paid attention. I was more drawn to these things. But this is just kind of a great demonstrator stamp set. So when you get a new team member, you can um, make a fun card that says welcome to the team, right? So, okay, wheels are turning on that one. Um, let's see, oh, we got a bone folder, a Stampin' Up! bone folder that says center stage on it. So that was something that we received at center stage, obviously. Um, what else, what else? Well, Epcot was awesome too. I think I told you guys a little bit about that last week. Um, how about, you guys wanna see um, the Gingham Gala? This is a six by six designer series paper. I'm gonna open this up so you can see it, right? So we've got, oh, it's going to tell me colors. This is balmy blue, so kind of, um, what do I want to say, like a larger gingham print, because then I think this one, yeah, and then a smaller. So each of them have the larger and the smaller gingham print. So there's balmy blue. I think this one is going to be Lucky Limeade. Let me make sure. Or no. Oh, Lucky Limeade. Isn't that funny? That's like a blast from the past. How about Lemon Lime Twist? That's that color. Then this one is Grapefruit Grove, and then we have Highland Heather and Daffodil Delight. So check those art. Aren't those so pretty? Oops, I'm losing them. My hands are slipping there. So, because I wanted to flip it over. So the large gingham print there, and then the smaller, oops, gingham print right there too. You guys can see all those. So super cute. They look like springy Easter fun colors to me. Okay, what else do I want to show you guys? Um, there's a cute bag, but I'm not sure you're even going to be able to see it. So this is actually the bottom. It's one of those bags that kind of zips all the way around here. So it kind of is super well contained. And then you unzip it and kind of open it. And you guys kind of get the idea. So that's the back side, super cute stripe. So that's the bottom of the bag, that kind of pretty green tealy. And then there's the top. So it's just a great tote, like a um, kind of a simple, very collapsible. But of course, with the blue and white stripes, super duper cute. I love this. Love, I love all of my bags. I mean, how many bags can you have? And yet I still get excited about every bag that I get. It's pretty funny. That glare is still really bad, isn't it? Okay, hold on. The sun keeps moving. Okay, there. We'll scoot it over a little bit more in hopes that that'll be enough for us, right? Okay, so the other thing I have to show you guys is the make and takes. So I've still got them in their little thingies here because I want you to see. Um, I was trying to keep them really well preserved. preserved. So this is the picture of what we were gonna make, right? And then here is the actual project that we made. And these are some really nice note cards, that deep navy blue. They are white, a lot of times they do that with our note cards, so they're white on the inside, navy blue on the outside, and then this is a really awesome stamp with some fun new um, embellishments and some pretty ribbon, and then the stamp that says happy day. I love, you're gonna love this designer series paper. I don't have names of any of this stuff, so. Bear with me, we will be learning the names of all of these things in the coming weeks and months, right? But then, I love, this is like another favorite, kind of matches that bag I just showed you, right? The navy blue and white stripes. So the note cards and envelopes go together. So there are the large, so here's one that hasn't been um, embellished yet, right? With another matching envelope. But then there are the cute little baby ones, so the kind of little mini 
note cards and then the little mini envelopes too. So aren't those so cute? They come in a package. You know, you get so many large with envelopes and then so many of the smaller with the envelopes too. So very, very cute. And I love that they showed, you know, how you can kind of um, dress up those little note cards with some fun stamping. Okay, and then let's see, this next one is, let me pull this guy out. Oops, this was good for transporting, right? So it says, wishing you a lovely day. So there's the little picture. And then we sit down and stamp, and then this is what we make. Uh, so yeah, the, I loved, and actually I think I needed to stamp off. I didn't realize until after I did that. This is a two-step. You can kind of see it a little bit better on here right how it's the the outline and then if you stamped off then you can see kind of the detail behind it a little bit better than the one that i ended up doing but you know that's okay some fun um thinlets right here and then really pretty ribbon check out this is i think it's lovely lipstick if you can see that kind of with the stitched edge ribbon super cute and then more of those fun um they're like a glitter enamel dot but smaller i guess they're not glittery but um little enamel dots in some fun new colors so that was another make and take. And then, let's see, I think I had one more. Nope, two more actually. Okay, so let me get this one here for you. So this is kind of fun. And actually, I meant to put this together when I got home, and I obviously haven't. And I actually showed these at our group gathering the other night. You would think I would have remembered then, but oh well, I didn't want to put it together when I was coming back from Florida, but anyway okay it'll be together very soon but this is a picture of the project and it says happy father's day so imagine oh actually it is pretty well put together but i have to show you check out this cool ribbon it's like a glittery silver ribbon with some black stitching on either edge this was just a little extra piece that was on the table so i had to bring it home to be able to show you guys because you can you can see it but i think you can see it a little bit better just in that strip right but so imagine this is my pizza box with my happy father's day with that cool ribbon and some oh it's like can you tell it's like motorcycle like biker uh, designer series paper i know a few people that are really going to love that paper and then this is cool too the um I don't know, whatever you call that. It's manly stuff, right? <laughs> the cogs and the wheel type of thing. So isn't that, that's very cool too, I thought. So it's kind of a, a very, um, it's a good suite of products for your masculine project. And then the last one, oh my gosh, I love the stitching, all the kind of daintiness. So there's a cute little stitching stamp right there. This paper, I don't know if it's stuck on there very well. Uh, I want to show you just because I love, can you see um, like the kind of crochet detail? I don't want to rip my paper, but check that out. I mean, when you get super close, it's almost, it's almost like it's three-dimensional, the way they've been able to capture that um, kind of crochet look on this. So, so pretty. And then, can you see the detail? This is an embossing folder that kind of stitches in all of that detail there. And then the sending you happiness and love with some cute, um, I think it's old olive, um, kind of the cotton twine, so it's really soft, easy to work with, some cute little um, flowers and things there. But yeah, just a really sweet, uh, this, it's funny, I really love, and I'm not a big like crochet person, but this um, suite of products really caught my eye in the catalog, so. Oh my gosh, so much fun new stuff. I cannot wait to play and show you guys all these things. Um, okay, but in the meantime, oh, and I have one more stamp set I'll show you. This was my prize patrol, and I absolutely love that I got this stamp set um, because I love the sentiments in it, right? We've got, this says, our friendship isn't one big thing, it's a million little things. And then another one that says, a friend is someone who chooses you out of a whole world of people. Isn't that cool? And then there's a thanks, a hello, and for you. And then some kind of water spots, a few different kind of background images, some pretty flying butterflies, and then this gorgeous kind of trellis of flowers there too. So I wanted to show you guys how, because this is another one of the cling stamp sets. So do you guys remember that? Because I need to, I feel like this is going to be my most important job probably in the next year, if not more, to make sure to educate everyone whenever you see. So it's always gonna be our new stamp sets, new in the occasions catalog, 
and then new, well, any stamp sets in the annual catalog when it comes out in June. But we will either have cling stamp sets or photopolymer stamp sets. So the photopolymer, those are the same that they've always been. The cling, the thing is they look just like our red rubber stamps, but when you peel this thing off right here, it is super, super, super sticky. So I just am so afraid someone's going to peel this off and pop it on their clear block like they normally do. And they say that, you know, you could ruin the foam on your stamp if you try to pull it off because it's adhered so well to the clear block. So let me show you what you're supposed to do because generally these things are always floating around in my stamp case just like this. I never use them because the labels in the past have not allowed these stamps to um, adhere to the clear blocks very well. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Oh my gosh. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. It's good to see you on here. I'm glad you can join us. Um, okay, so back to the cling stamps. So when you get a stamp set and it says cling stamp set at the top, you need to make sure to pull, basically put everything together right away so you don't ever have a problem. So what I want to show you is, let me just make sure, yep, I've got, we're going to do this big one right here, okay? So I'm going to just pop this out like I normally would, right? But don't peel this off yet, because if you, if you peel the label off and then lay it down on something, it is so stuck on there. So I just can't express to you how much, how clingy these things are. What we are going to do is, let me find the right side. Um, maybe it is this side, yeah. I was thinking, okay, there's the perforation, right? Um, ooh, it's not. So the idea is that you peel... There we go. Okay, so I want just this piece so that my label is in there because this is super sticky also, okay? So you're gonna peel this off. It was almost like the label started coming up on the other end, so I'm gonna try to be careful here. Okay, so you're gonna peel that off and then you're gonna peel the backing off of this guy right here. And this is the part where like this is, actually it's more the label, I guess it's super sticky. This isn't too bad, right? Okay, that's good, that's good to know. But what it is then, so this is super sticky. You're gonna put this right down on here. And let me make sure, because this is the deal. Once I put this on here, you cannot take it back up. Like you can't just like peel it off and reposition. So you basically get like one shot here to make sure that everything's lined up. So, and you know, if it's off a tiny bit, it's not going to be the worst thing in the world, but I'm just going to press that down really well in there to get, and then look at that. See how nicely that comes off. And now this is still fairly sticky, right? But that's what's going to allow it. Here, let me grab my clear block. I've got this ready to go for my other stamping. But then when you put this on here and I can feel it, it's really like sticking to my fingers. So it doesn't even want to um, go exactly where I so it's all good to go and actually isn't that awesome this is the first time I've ever used my stamps with that whole um, picture of the stamp right on there too right so you'd ink it up and stamp it clean it and then when you go to um, take it off the clear block because these labels are so sticky you have to be careful to kind of get the edge of it and pull it up so you're just going to have to use a little bit more care I don't know if you can hear like this is just clingy super sticky clingy right so then this will just go right back in here ready to go okay so you just have to use a little more care when you're peeling it up i'm not sticking it down too well but if this were adhered really well um, you just you need to be careful when you lift it up and it maybe it loses a little bit of its clingy stickiness we're going to learn about that as we go but yeah put it down and then just kind of with the edge because the big thing is you know they you don't want to ruin that foam in there by like pulling off super quick and hard and maybe not getting all the foam to come off somehow. So that's the idea, okay? So I think you're just definitely gonna wanna mount everything as soon as you get it um, so that you don't have any concerns or problems later, okay? So hopefully that made sense, right? So let me check my notes real quick, but I think we are, yeah, we are ready to do our stamping. So I gotta get that stamp back on there. So it is ready to go. Okay, let me grab my grid paper. All right, is everybody dreaming about um, leftovers? 
<laughs> I literally like I I went and worked out this morning because I knew I needed to do that right and then um, I had a smaller breakfast than I normally would because I'm so excited about having the leftovers after we're done with Facebook live <laughs> so I'm already dreaming about my it was funny because even Lily was like mom yesterday she's saying I think you're more worried about the leftovers than actually like eating the turkey right now and I might have been I wanted to make sure we had enough of everything <laughs> for for today and tomorrow so thanks for the share Philomena I appreciate it okay so let's see what are we going to make today I have to show you in the catalog first actually because I think this is a stamp set that um, you might just pass right over we made these projects at our inspired stampers group gathering this week and I do have to say that most people were like what's this stamp set where is it it's in the catalog I you know they missed it so I'm here to, on a mission to make sure because I love this stamp set so it's called wishing you well and it's on page 35 of our holiday catalog I think I love that kind of weedy image this is a great wreath so it's obviously great for holiday time but it'd be great for spring as well here's the sentiment wishing you well seasons greetings and then we've got another that says sending you our thoughts and prayers i think you can always use more of that sentiment right and then just a note and then these little flowers um, i'll show you kind of decorate the wheat there and then this bow i tell you what i think it's the main reason why i love the stamp set so much because this bow it almost looks like kind of a organ organza like kind of a little see-through and it really stamps that way too so you, you'll see in a sec when I when I show you these projects so let me I'm going to show you first of all okay let's make sure we have everything here right okay so the other idea was I thought this would be a great gift giving idea to use so these are our acetate the clear acetate boxes I'm sure these are on sale one of the days during this online extravaganza so that might be a great thing to order and get on sale i used a belly band this is it's three inches wide by 12 inches and i just adhered it in the back right and then i put on um kind of a little embellishment here on the belly band with that wheat and can you see kind of the stamp how it almost looks a little see-through there and then tied um, one of the braided linen trim bows around it okay so I'm not going to demonstrate that because I think that's really pretty simple just you can decorate it however you like but it's a great like I said a great gift giving idea if you buy these little boxes you can fit probably four cards and envelopes in here very nicely um, I just think what a nice simple easy gift I'm sure we have lots of cards on stash right that you could pop into a cute little box like this so okay let me show I'm going to show you each of the cards that we made in here okay have to get myself organized yeah so I slipped them all in here right so you can see how they kind of slip in and out perfectly so I'm gonna these are the cards I'm going to show you guys right so we're gonna make this awesome card that says just a note with that beautiful wheat this card now I cased most of these um, I've been having to do that lately because I feel like there's just not enough time but this was from Erica Serwin at Pink Buckaroo Design she had something very similar to this and then these are super cute little they're little three by three note cards along with the envelope right super super simple I'm not even going to demonstrate this because obviously this is so easy it's basically a three by three note card that I stamped with the season's greetings and the little rhinestones and then that awesome uh, bow and then of course I had to stamp the bow in the little envelope as well right those I cased from the paper pixie okay we actually made two of these to go in there and then here's another this one's so beautiful isn't it with the little flowers and then just a note also so I thought you could change this up for holiday time but it could just be a great like winter um, card just to say hello right and then here's the last one that I'm going to show you guys um, oh I should say let's see where did this one was um, uh, Stampin Pretty this is from Mary Fish at Stampin Pretty is where I cased that one and then this last one with that gorgeous designer series paper that's some of the first frost designer series paper with the wishing you well this one was cased from Poodles um, Sam Hammond in uh, the UK so okay let me show you um, which one are we going to start with okay let me scoot things out of the way make sure I know what I'm doing right so here's the back too of that so this is what the box looks like when you don't have anything in it but super cute simple easy 
Okay, so we are gonna do, let's do this just a note card first. So I'm gonna pop that right there. I have all of my paper that I need. And okay, so this requires a lot of, well, we used actually all of the stamps in the stamp set on these cards. So I just need to make sure that I have what I need here. Okay, um, so we need some smoky slate ink. And actually, if I would have been able to find, so that weekend retreat that I went to, I have a feeling some of my ink pads slipped out of the carrier. And I think maybe my gray granite ink pad, because this is um, technically supposed to be gray granite in there. <laughs> um, it might be like under the seat or something in the car. So we're using smoky slate, but I think you can use either one in this case, either smoky slate or um, the gray granite ink. But okay, and I did actually already um, cut these with my layering oval framelits. The scallop oval and then the straight oval are these guys right here. So I've already cut these since I figured you guys didn't need to see me um, die cutting these right, but those go right on there. And then the other little trick to tell you guys about is that I, this piece of paper, can you see? Haha, -ha, my little paper saving. Oh, hi, Rosa. Thank you for the share. How are you doing today? I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Um, okay, so that just comes right out of that little piece because then you put your designer series paper right on there and you never even know that there's a hole back there, right? Because it's going to go on your card. Okay, so little trick there for you all. Okay, so let me tell you measurements because I probably should have just done that in the beginning, right? Where did my oval, there it is. Okay, so this is our piece of eight and a half by 11. This is thick whisper white cardstock and I will have all of the details, um, item codes and everything for all of these products. I'll have them um, on my blog. That'll post tomorrow at gatheringinspiration.com. So if you need item codes um, for anything, it'll all be there so you don't have to search for anything, okay? So eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. We cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, right? Always our nice, beautiful, crisp fold on our card. Okay, scoop my card out of the way. Then our piece of smoky slate. Actually, this is gray granite. That's what the that's what the deal was. I used gray granite cardstock, and then I went to find my gray granite ink, and I couldn't, so I used smoky slate. So you can see how they're pretty inter interchangeable, though. Okay, so my smoky slate piece measures three and three quarters by five inches, and then this is a piece of the festive farmhouse designer series paper that measures three and a half by four and three quarter inches, okay? So we can put this together. So I'm gonna add my adhesive right here. I'm gonna pop that guy right on there and we can add this to our card. So might as well go ahead and do that. And then we'll do our stamping and get that other piece put on here. So simple, quick and easy, but super, these were a huge hit. These cards were the other night at our group gathering. And I think it's it's the stamp set, really. People just loved it and they're, you know, okay, it's on my list now. I hadn't even noticed it in the catalog, which that happens to me too. I think it happens to all of us. Okay, so we ink that up in our gray granite or smoky slate, a gray ink basically, right? And then I need my cherry cobbler ink for the flowers let's see if I go that way right so we're just gonna you can just put those about anywhere they just layer in there beautifully I love oops I don't want to close that just yet because now I have to do my beautiful wreath or not my wreath my bow okay so inking that guy up I'm gonna put him right there look at that isn't that so cool can you guys see I have to get it up close doesn't it almost look like wispy and airy like you can see through the ribbon in our pretty bow there, but it's stamped. Oh my goodness. That is just the best thing ever. Okay, I am gonna use these stamps a number of times. So I want to clean them off with my chamois so they are all ready to go. I did use this one too. I like to turn it this way. Okay, so, okay, that looks good. I might as well get these two. Well, I've got it. Oh, I gotta do my just a note. Yeah, I should have stamped that because I do have to clean that one too. 
because we use that again. Okay, so here on this little guy right here with, again, my Smoky Slate ink, we're going to stamp just a note right on here. I thought it might have been upside down, but that's okay because we're going to punch it. So no big deal. Okay, scoop that one there. Okay, with the whatever this punch is called, some kind of a label punch, skinny label punch is what I'm going to call it today. Okay, so we're going to pop that guy right in there, punch him out. He is all set. And then did I bring, let's see, I think I did bring my dimensionals and my minis. I was thinking I need a mini dimensional behind the just a note. Oops, and I just filed my fingernails. So now I can't pick anything up as usual. Okay, so we've got those. We are gonna add some adhesive on this guy right here. Oops, okay. <laughs> I cannot pick anything up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh well, okay. Doing that right there. We're gonna add a couple dimensionals on the back of this guy and pop him on our card. All right. Here we go. You guys still thinking about that turkey? The leftovers? <laughs> I know I am. Okay. And we're going to pop that maybe right about there. Oops, it didn't stick. There. Okay, now it's sticky. Okay, so there is card number one. See how super simple, but it's all about that designer series paper and then kind of bringing those colors in to your stamping, right? Okay, so one card done. Let's see, we're gonna do this guy next. So this one kind of has a little bit of a fun fold to it. Let's see if I can get that centered. I'm always flicking it around, right? Okay, so here, this is the next card that I didn't show you that, did I? So it's got this cool fold on it. Classic label punch. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> I appreciate that. You're like my reference. You're like my encyclopedia reference gal. I love that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so this is a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock, okay? So again, all right, in half by 11 cardstock, we cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter. And that's funny, here I am, yep, four and a quarter and six and three quarters, or this was kind of what was throwing me because I usually think of it like this. I scored it at, I'm sorry, two and one eighth and four and one quarter. So note that, right? Along the eight and a half inch side, you score it at two and one eighth and four and one quarter, okay? Well, hi, Danielle, how are you? I hope you had a good Thanksgiving as well. Okay, so we're gonna fold it there like that. And then along that two and one eighth inch score mark, you flip it back like that, okay? So those are the kind of the scoring. And then the rest of the pieces, this is the white piece that goes on the inside that measures four and one eighth by five and three eighths, okay? And then we have a piece of crushed curry cardstock that measures two and five eighths by three and five eighths. And then our whisper white piece measures three and a half, I'm sorry, two and a half by three and a half, okay? So we've got a lot of those little eighth inch measurements. So just a little bit peeks out around there like that, right? And then this is some of the frosted floral, love that designer series paper, that measures two inches by five and three eighths. Yeah, five and three eighths inch. Yep. Okay. So let's do our stamping again and then we will put things together. Um, okay. So we want just a note right inside here. Where did I put that stamp? I think that's it right there. Okay, we need ink colors in, let me make sure I've got them here. Boy, oh boy, it's getting messy around here too, ladies. Okay, so we're gonna do our crushed, nope. Uh, hold on, we're gonna do this first. Then I'll get my Blackberry Blessing. So we're gonna stamp this in crushed curry ink, our, I call it, I call it a wheat stock, okay? So in crushed curry, we're gonna stamp that one right on there, okay? Then scoot that out of the way. That's the only thing I need the crushed curry ink for, so I can scoot that. Then we have our Blackberry Bliss ink, okay? 
So we are going to stamp our bow in Blackberry Bliss. Isn't that, oh my gosh, I could just stamp this a million times. I love that bow and I love uh, that little wheat thing too. It just goes so nicely together and it's um, very forgiving also. And then just a note, oh yay. All of a sudden I was like, shoot, I hope that's not upside down, but we're good. Okay, so there we go. And again, I'm gonna clean these guys before I move them out of the way because I use some of them. I think we use the bow on, and the wheat on just about every one. So that was a little bit of a challenge the other night. Um, <laughs> I ended up stamping for everybody because I got, I knew what was what and what went where and well, not everybody else had been putting it together like I had. So yeah, that was, yeah, like I said, a little bit of a challenge with lots of ladies there all using the same stamp and a bunch of different ink, right? So the chamois is your friend then. Okay, so this piece we're just gonna layer right inside of here. Okay, make sure. So just that little bit of Blackberry Bliss popping out around the edges, right? Then we've got our designer series paper. Okay. And we're gonna pop this one right on that little flap there. So again, just a little bit of the Blackberry Bliss peeks out from behind there. And, oh, that's funny. I grabbed a piece I had already stamped. Well, you know what? You know I did that? Because I didn't like, I had that little ring around the red rubber there. So we had to do it again. We couldn't use that one, but look, you're gonna be able to see how um, you can't even see that stamp on here at all, right? You would never even know that I stamped back there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna run a whole strip of adhesive along there and kind of pop him on here. Make sure it looks straight and even, okay? And then let's just grab our take your pick tool, the Barbie spatula here, right? And we are gonna pick up a couple of these um, little pearls. We're gonna put one maybe right about there. Oops, I am like flicking everything. Grab another one, put him maybe right about there, and then one more. Oops, there. So you can also do that, right? And then this one we're just gonna pop, right? Oops, gosh, it stuck so well to my finger. You know what, I wonder if I have a glue dot on there. That's why that didn't work. Okay, forget about that one. I didn't dig underneath there enough. I didn't get the glue dot with it. There, okay, we got this one right here. There we go. Okay, so there is the next project, just a note. So this would be great any time of the year. Well, hi, Kathy, I'm glad you're back. <laughs> we are doing some fun demonstrating now. Okay, so that's the second card, and let me show you the last one. Another super cute, simple, easy, with just a fun little twist to it, okay. So it's this card right here, the wishing you well, right? All right, let me grab my pieces for this one. Okay, so this is a Knight of Navy base, a card base. So this is the tall card, right? It stands up like this. Okay, so our eight and a half by 11 piece of card stock. This time we cut it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches, right? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it in half at five and a half for our card fold, our crisp fold in our card, right? And then, let's see, for the, we have a piece of Whisper White, oop, that I actually already did my stamping, didn't I? It says, sending you our thoughts and prayers. So I don't even have to stamp that again, do I? This is gonna go on the inside and it measures four by five and a quarter. Again, that's Whisper White cardstock. And then this beautiful designer series paper, the frosted floral. I love the all the frostiness of this paper, right? Also measures four by five and a quarter inches, okay? Then we have another piece to kind of frame our Knight of Navy. Piece measures two and three quarters by four. And then our Whisper White measures, ooh, hold on, did I say that? Yeah, that's right, so two and a half by three and three quarters. I felt like I said something wrong. So white is two and a half by three and three quarters, and then the Knight of Navy, two and three quarters by four. Yeah, so kind of a quarter of an inch difference there. Okay, so on our white piece, we are going to 
stamp with Old Olive ink first. Right? Is that right? Let me make sure. Uh, no, you know what? I used Mossy Meadow. The Old Olive is for a different one. Okay, so here we go. We're going to use our Mossy Meadow ink on our wheat stock. Right? So we're going to stamp this guy. And once again, another, oh, it's a beautiful moment. Right? Okay. So there is our, and it stamps a little bit light too, I have noticed. Um, it doesn't have to be super vibrant, um, which works really well with this paper too, I think. And then we've got our Knight of Navy for our bow. I'm going to put that guy right there. And then I need the Wishing You Well. Where do you think that is? Hmm. Uh, I think that's Wishing You Well. Let's see, huh? Okay, so I brought a couple of strips in case it didn't go well. Okay, so we're going to ink that up. Stamp it right on there. Okay, so it's upside down. It's really hard. These teeny tiny, can you see how like I'm struggling with? <laughs> but once you stamp it, then you know, right? And I actually did a good job on that one too. So I think we're, we're set with that. Okay, so we are just going to take the end of this and I'm going to kind of make a little banner. So all I did there was kind of um, eyeball the halfway point, snip in a little bit, and then kind of from each corner at an angle and cut in there. Okay. And yeah, I think I'm going to trim that off just a little bit there. Okay. So that's good there. We got to keep him so he's not lost, right? Okay. So let's put our card together. My adhesive. Oh, I got another one. That's funny. So can you tell I was a little bit bleary eyed trying to put these pieces together? Apparently that one had a stamp on the back of it too. I didn't even remember that. Okay, so, but again, you can't even tell, right? I've stamped on that white piece and because it's on this navy blue, you would never even know that it's there, behind there. So that's the beauty of our Whisper White, even the regular, that's not even the thick cardstock that you really, you know, if you hold it up to the light, sure you'll be able to see through it, but otherwise, especially when you put it on um, a cardstock, you can't even tell, so. If you make a mistake, just flip it over and stamp on the other side. I don't want to put that on just yet, do I? Because we need to put this. <laughs> I get like distracted. You know how that happens, right ladies? Okay, so there's our adhesive. We're gonna put the beautiful frosty, frosted floral designer series paper. Now we can put this guy right on there, right? I'm gonna grab my wishing you well. Uh, let's see what we got there. Did I get enough? Okay, so make sure this is good. This guy is gonna go maybe right about there. Let's put our sentiment, the sending you our thoughts and prayers. We're gonna put that on the inside of our card. And then there's one more fun step that I have to show you guys. I loved this idea. I probably should have done it sooner. Um, hopefully it will dry in enough. I don't think it takes too long, but okay. So these are the glitter enamel dots. Yep. So in Coastal Cabana, I used the Knight of Navy, the dark um, marker blend. And if you, you just kind of keep adding, kind of, I like to go around the edges there too, but you can make this more of a blue. And that's what I was saying. Gosh, maybe it won't, I might not touch that one just yet, but you can see, right, how in the right light with with the glare without the glare right how that coastal cabana turns into a night of navy in here look you can see it even better on this card isn't that cool so i'm going to let that dry just for another sec it probably is okay but just in case but you get the idea right so that is going to go right there on that other card so that's it ladies i hope you enjoyed all of these projects oh my gosh let's do the quick recap just so everybody knows don't forget to do your shopping in the online extravaganza um oh the name of the stamp set nikki it is the wishing you well stamp set so here's a picture look at that the sun keeps moving over now i've got quite a glare there but i think we're going to make it yeah wishing you well it's in the holiday catalog so yeah you can still order this through the end of december actually I'm, i have to look at that holiday catalog if it goes now now i need to know I think in the very back of the holiday catalog, it tells us 
Um, yes. Okay. So if you ever, it's usually in the back. It says catalog sales period is from September 5 to January 2, 2019. So you should technically be able to order the stamp set until January 2, 2019. So you've still got some time. So yeah, but if you put that online order in, right, say maybe you want to order this Wishing You Well stamp set, right? If you order at least $30, um, online and use this host code, the ETSM G6K4, you get these three projects that I demonstrated today. I'm going to try to see if I can get that to stay. Oops, let's not cover up the host code, right? The host code is always on my blog too at gatheringinspiration.com if you don't catch it here, right? So you're definitely going to get these three projects that I demonstrated today and your name goes in the drawing to win the Alpine Adventure stamp set. Then, like I said, if I have at least five online orders, I'm gonna throw that other Happiness Surround stamp set in the drawing so you could win either the Alpine Adventure or the Happiness Surround set, right? And then, as always, if you bump your order up to at least $50, you're gonna get a free embellishment. So lots and lots of good stuff to give away. Make sure you check out stampinup.com for the online extravaganza sale and everything that's on sale today and tomorrow and then the next two days, and the next two days. So it technically ends next Wednesday. Um, but yeah, um, I can't even remember what's on sale right now. Isn't that funny? Where am I not? So today and tomorrow, don't forget, are on sale. Where is it? Right here. Um, paper and embellishments are on sale today and tomorrow, okay? And then on Sunday and Monday, it is stamps and kits, and then Tuesday and Wednesday, it is tools and ink. So. Again, you cannot go wrong if you go to stampinup.com. It's all right there. You can see all the pictures. Put your order in. Use the host code. Get lots of free stuff. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great Friday, a great rest of your day. Hopefully the sun is shining where you are. And have a great weekend. And go blue. I can't wait for tomorrow. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next Friday.